banana milkshake for breakfast. Minus the milk. Minus the milk. Cruelty free. Yesterday we had a last minute opportunity to do a bike race on Anguilla, which is an island close by to St. Martin. So we made our food, packed up, and rushed out. We actually almost missed the ferry. It was very close. There was so much going on and I was so hungry from the race that I barely noticed the missing salt when I had my lunch. I didn't notice it actually at all in the beginning of my meal, but I think that was because I was just so hungry. I did start to notice it towards the end though. So why do our bodies crave salt to begin with? One of the main reasons is that salt in today's society has a direct correlation with calorically dense foods. So that means foods that are very calorie dense. Things like um, potatoes, uh, potato fries, french fries are very, very salty, very high in calories, calorically dense. Animal products, um, chips, uh, crisps, some people call them, anything like that that has a lot of salt, even certain sauces, uh, ketchup, things like that, have a lot of salt. And what happens is that our body, it's not craving the salt, but it's craving the calories that goes with it. Our body has, it's like an encyclopedia. Everything that we've put into our body in the past, our body remembers and our body knows. And so it goes and say we're low on calories. It's going to go through that encyclopedia and go, uh, French fries. I know that that's very calorically dense, so I'm going to tell the brain to crave salt because I know that salt is associated with calorically dense foods. So, salt, salt, anybody salt, craving salt. And then that's when you're going to crave the salt, but you're not actually craving the salt, you're craving the calories that go with it. So one thing, if you're following what I'm doing this week and cutting the sodium completely or just doing small, small bits, trying to get it down, is not to go after salty foods, but instead to raise the calories that you're eating. I just wanted to go through and take a few minutes to answer a few of the questions that you guys have been asking on the videos. I'm so sorry I haven't replied to the comments yet, but we've get, been getting so many comments, we've been so busy that I haven't had a chance, but I promise that I will reply to all of your comments, uh, hopefully very soon. So one of the first questions was, why do we taste salt? I was explaining that when I was running, I was really tasting the salt on my lips. And basically when you sweat, if you're, if you're active, you go out and you sweat, um, the sweat's going to come down, go on your lips, and then if you lick your lips, um, you're going to taste it. So a few people were asking where I was getting the sodium from before. Number one is whole foods. Every single whole food has sodium in it. Bananas, potatoes, rice, everything has at least a little bit of sodium in it which is why you don't need to add salt to your diet because you are getting enough, you are getting the RDA simply by eating enough calories of whole foods. So I was also adding a little bit um, of low sodium sauces, things like Tabasco sauce or other uh, low sodium but hot sauces. I really enjoy spice, so I was using those, which kind of goes to the next question. What are some of the things that I was using that I could replace so that I have absolutely no sodium in my diet? For sure, I could try and make my own hot sauce. Uh, I've tried that in the past. For me, it is very time consuming, so I tend to just um, get something store-bought, which is not the ideal for sure, but it's something like a Tabasco. Or there's a few other ones that we can get here in the Caribbean that are pretty low sodium. So averaging, I would say still under a thousand milligrams a day before the experiment, but I was definitely not at a zero zero level. I also have some things that have higher sodium in them. So sometimes I, I have um, French baguettes, which are pretty high in sodium. Sometimes um, some pastas, sometimes those might have sodium. But there are certain things that do have sodium, and I was not like no sodium whatsoever. I was uh, definitely having a little bit. So a few people were asking, well, what if I want to have some salts once in a while? What can I do about that? I don't want to get all poofy and um, gain water weight just from some salty meals. You can definitely uh, try to drink some water beforehand, but other than that, you're probably going to get poofy. The thing to remember is that when you step on the scale the next morning, the next day, you have not gained fat. That's something that a lot of people freak out about. They gain 
five, 10 pounds in a week and go, oh my God, I'm getting so much weight. It's probably just water weight. I don't know a lot of people that gain 10 pounds of actual fat in a single week. I'm sure it's possible, but I don't know a lot of people who eat that way who could actually manage to do that, especially as a high carb, low fat vegan. So if you are gonna add sodium, if you are gonna have a salty meal, realize you're not gaining fat from that. And realize the best way to get rid of that poofiness, that big cheeks and poofy belly, maybe a little bit of bloatedness, is to be active. Sweat the salt out. So go for a run, go for a jog, do an activity, a sport that you enjoy, cycling, swimming, playing with your kids, whatever it is that gets you sweating. Pump your lymphatic system, get the salt out, and a few hours later, you're going to be fine. You're going to be all the way down to where you were. So one salty meal, no, it's not going to wreak total havoc on your body. You're not going to gain a crazy amount of weight. But realize it's not fat. If you are gaining the weight, realize it's not the fat. It's the water weight. All you need to do, pump your lymphatic system to get it out. I hope that that answers a few of your questions. Please leave more questions down below. I'm going to get to them as the days go forward. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to make your day wonderful, and I'll see you again soon. Another thing is if you are going to eat salt, is to drink beforehand. Carve up and spread the fruit.